हेलो एवरीवन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर्मिट डिराइव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन पार्ट वन वी डिराइव्ड हाउ टू अरेंज एनआई पार्टिकल्स इन जीआई अवेलेबल स्टेट्स डिस्टिंग्विशेबली सो द डिस्टिंग्विशेबल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एनआई पार्टिकल्स इन जीआई अवेलेबल स्टेट्स वी रोड एज GI factorial divided by NI factorial GI minus NI factorial. So this is the distinguishable way of arranging NI particles in GI available states or GI available cells. Now the same way, this expression can be repeated, can be derived for all other um, uh, states available for the particles. So we can write the total. Um, distinguishable way of arranging the available particles in the available states in a system is given by this can be written as the product sum of sum over i gi factorial divided by ni factorial gi minus ni factorial now if you will find out the probability the probability of um, occurrence for this specific distribution, let us take that probability as W. This must be proportional to the available um, uh, states or to, the, to the, the number of possible way of arrangements, okay, distinguishable arrangements. So we can write this is proportional to your G or we said is proportional to or we said W is proportional to this value product sum of these GI factorial divided by ni factorial gi minus ni factorial so if i replace this proportionality with equality then we can write w is equal to the function distribution whatever we got here gi factorial divided by ni factorial gi minus ni factorial into some constant so the most probable distribution function will be your Fermi direct distribution function. So using this expression W is equal to this, we will be able to derive the Fermi direct distribution function mathematically. So we will uh, do few mathematical steps and we can obtain the Fermi direct distribution function in the desired um, way, okay, as desired. So let's see uh, what uh, would be the step next. We can now take logarithm of this w so if i will take logarithm of w that is the probability we can write log this is sum over i okay we have um, log gi factorial minus log ni factorial minus um, this is log gi minus ni factorial okay keeping this term into the bracket then we have this logarithm of this constant which gives us a constant term so this is what we got now further this can be um rewritten using the stalling approximation what is Stalling approximation? For large value of GI and NI, we can use the Stalling approximation just to simplify this um, um, expression that we have written. So using Stalling approximation, as GI gives you the number of electronic states available, NI gives you the number of particles and these uh, values are very large. Using Stalling approximation, we can rewrite this, rewrite this as sum over i this gives us gi log gi minus gi expanding using stalling approximation and here we have minus ni log ni this minus ni will be now plus ni the same way we have minus uh, this is gi minus ni log gi minus ni okay and then plus gi minus ni so then plus the constant using stalling approximation we 
wrote this uh, expression as okay. the next step we can just expand it and further simplify it so logarithm of sum over i we got g i log g i minus g i minus n i log n i plus n i then we have let's expand this term so we have g i log g i minus n i we have then minus um, we have this um, minus minus plus n i log g i minus n i minus minus plus this then we have plus g i minus n i bracket close then the constant term so if you will see this uh, expression we got minus g i plus g i plus n i minus n i so cancelled out then the remaining term is log sum over i we have this g i log g i minus n i log n i then taking this uh, log g i n i common we got we got this as if i write um, plus we have this n i minus g i log g i minus n i okay so this and then plus constant this is the term we got now here you see it, the expression we got for logarithm of the probability w is given by this here this g i is not subject to variation n i number of particles will vary okay so here if i will take the differentiation the term having this g i and log g i will be zero only those term only the terms uh, with n i will be there okay so if i will take the, the differentiation of both the sides differentiating both the sides we can write this as uh, delta of logarithm of w this gives us logarithm of sum over i okay and we got log uh, here we will get g i minus n i log g i minus n i g i minus n i and then minus log n i log n i okay delta n i so this will be the term by differentiating both of the sides okay so further we can write this as this can be uh, okay this is uh, it then if i will take this w is equal to the w max that is the maximum probability for that specific distribution distinguishable way of arranging ni particles in gi cells if i'll take this then delta of logarithm of w max will be zero and hence we can write from this the left hand side can be equated to zero so we can rewrite this as um, so I got this term that is logarithm of g i minus n i minus log n i this term sum over i delta n i is equal to 0 okay or else further simplifying this we can write this as um, minus uh, log this is n i divided by g i minus n i okay sum over i mm, delta n i is equal to zero is equal to zero consider this as equation one then come to our uh, previous assumption that we have written that we have um, considered the number of particles in the system is constant total number of particles and the total energy as per the conservation of principle of energy total energy of the system will be constant so if you uh, consider um, reconsider these um, uh, two assumptions again we can write from the first one we said the total number of particles total number of particles given by sum over i n i is constant 
from which we can write delta n if i'll differentiate it that gives us sum over i delta n i equals to zero consider this as equation two and the second assumption we said the total energy of the system is constant total energy of the system is constant total energy is what we said n1 number of particles will have energy e1 n2 number of particles will have energy e2 ni number of particles will have energy ei so the total energy if you'll see n1 e1 plus n2 e2 plus up to ni ei so we can write this as sum over i ni ei must be constant so differentiating it we got this ni is subject to variation so we got sum over i ei delta ni is equal to zero consider this as equation three so we have three equations okay one is your log ni divided by gi minus ni um zero log ni minus gi uh, log ni divided by gi minus ni delta ni is zero this is delta ni is zero and this is equation three consider these three equations and use lagrangian undetermined multiplier using lagrangian undetermined multiplier and these three equations we can write equation one plus alpha times equation two equation two plus beta times equation three and adding them okay so we can write that this logarithm of n i divided by g i minus n i sum over i okay here we got then plus we have this um, alpha then we have this beta times e i beta times e i okay so this over delta n i is equal to zero this is what we got then we will simplify this further so further simplifying what we can write is um so this uh, this variation of delta n i here we got logarithm of this delta n i alpha times delta n i beta times e i delta n i independent of each other considering each term is independent of each other we can write this as logarithm of n i divided by g i minus n i plus or this is equal to your um this plus alpha times plus beta times e i okay this is equal to zero so we can write logarithm of n i divided by g i minus n i is equal to minus of alpha plus beta e i beta e i so we can write further this implies n i divided by g i minus n i is equal to e to the power minus alpha plus beta e i okay. so we can write this or else you can write this as g i minus n i divided by n i equals to 1 divided by e to the power minus alpha plus beta times e i we got the shape okay this implies this gives you g i by n i minus n i divided by n i is equal to 1 divided by e to the power minus alpha plus beta e i okay so we got g i divided by n i minus 1 is equal to 1 divided by e to the power minus alpha plus beta e i um this okay we got g i n i is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by e to the power minus alpha plus beta e i this so we can write n i divided by g i is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power alpha plus beta e i so writing it for 
the Fermi direct distribution function is defined as n as function of e and g as function of e, which can be rewritten as 1 by 1 plus e to the power alpha plus beta times e. Okay, so which can be uh, you know where alpha is the chemical potential and we can write this as minus mu by kt in terms of Fermi energy level we say this is minus ef by kt and your beta is beta is equal to 1 by kt so 1 by kt substituting this undetermined multipliers we can write f of e is equal to um, 1 divided by 1 plus in place of alpha e to the power alpha is your minus ef by kt minus ef divided by kt and then your beta times e beta is your e divided by kt so e by kt which can be rewritten as 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power e minus ef divided by kt so this is your for me direct distribution function which we use for the distribution of uh, fermions for the distribution of fermions f of e is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power e minus e f by kt thank you